Hi guys, welcome to Chris Ryan Golf. We are again at the Belfry. We are on the Brabazon course, the 17th, which is par five. And we're gonna be giving you a great downswing drill, which can help you stop that over the top move that many of you are gonna be struggling with. All you'll need is a club to sort of swing with. So I've got a five iron here, mid iron would be, would be ideal. And your most lofted club, which in my case is a lob wedge. We'll come to that in a moment. So what we're gonna be doing is looking at the trail foot. So in this case, for right-handed golf, it's my right foot. And we're gonna be looking at trying to keep that heel down for a little bit longer in the downswing. Those golfers who are coming over the top, as you curl it, um, you know, over plane, if you like, where the club is traveling excessively left through the impact area, often we find with those golfers, the back heel is up very quickly into the downswing. When the back heel gets up, the right hip often gets a little bit too high, the right shoulder gets a little bit too far out, the hands go a little bit too far out, and then ultimately the golf club is a little bit too far out, and then from there we're really only left with one thing, which is a path which is to the left. So very, very common trait again amongst those golfers who struggle with the left to right fader slice, the over the top move, is that trail heel lifts a little bit too early in the downswing, and that can often lead to the, the sort of delivery position which results in that shot. So we're gonna do a really, really good drill um, that you can do on the drive range, you can do it at home, in your back garden, you don't necessarily need to hit any golf balls doing this, but it's gonna give you a good feel for what we're trying to do. Just before we go on to the drill, those golfers who have this sort of trail heel lifting too early often don't have enough lateral movement in the hips in the downswing. Often, you're gonna see this from the face on, the heel is coming up this way, the hips are rotating, but often they're they're backing up this way as opposed to moving towards the target. So this drill is going to help us keep the heel down. It's going to help us move the pelvis a little bit more towards the target. And ultimately, those two things should help the golf club set into a better sort of position here, which allows us to deliver the club more efficiently. So this is what we're going to get you to do. Get your wedge and get your five iron, okay? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my normal address position with my five iron as if I'm going to hit this ball at my target, which in this case is just the middle of the fairway. So once I've got myself set up, take your wedge, place it under the back heel, and there's my address position. So as you can see, the pressure on my right heel is keeping that golf club in the air. So once I make a backswing, I want to feel that I make a little bit of a lateral move, and I want to feel in rehearsals, I want to feel that I can allow the club to get about last parallel with my heel still on the ground. Okay, that's a really, really good feeling for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a backswing and I'm gonna make a little bit of a lateral movement in my pelvis and allow the arms to drop into this delivery position here. And I can just go ahead without hitting the ball, but just make some of these golf swings and just start to get a feel for what that's gonna feel like. You will feel this right hip is lower and more back, certainly if you're the kind of golfer who struggles with this over the top move. You will very, very quickly start to sense if you're the golfer that wants to sort of get up this way and you'll feel that club drops very, very quickly as the pressure in that right heel uh, changes as we, as we reduce it. So, fantastic drill for those golfers who struggle with this, this move, struggle with good footwork. We know, ideally, we'd like the feeling of that right foot to roll a little bit. This foot can roll and we can still keep that golf club in the air. We can't let the grip touch the floor. This allows that movement, but any lifting of the heel and it would drop. Certainly, in reality, when we hit the golf ball, we're okay with the heel being a little bit off the ground. So we don't necessarily want to keep it down sort of right way through to, to a sort of finish. But in rehearsals, it's maybe not a bad idea. So absolutely fine for you to make a few half swings, trying to feel that you hit this golf ball, you know, 60, 70 yards, but keeping that heel down. It's going to be really, really good sensation for you that you can take to the full swing. I say, in reality, we don't mind that golf club dropping onto the floor through impact, that's absolutely fine. That should happen in a good golf swing. The idea of this drill is to give you a feeling for keeping the heel down a little bit longer. So let me just do one more for you. So normal setup first. Get yourself comfortable. Under the right heel with a wedge. Make sure it's securely under there. And then you can just go ahead and just make some rehearsals. Trying to feel that we get the club into a delivery position a little bit of lateral movement, a little bit of rotation of the hips, but certainly you no know, lifting of the heel. Lifting of the heel from early will cause that club to drop and you can see where the golf club's moved into. From here, I'm probably gonna have a path somewhere to the left of target, probably gonna hit pulls, fades, slices. Distance won't be great because it's more of a glancing blow um, and we're not gonna hit the shots that we generally desire. So really, really simple drill. You just need a wedge, a mid iron, something like that, and you can go ahead and, and do this in your back garden at the driving range. 
and I say it's going to give you some really really good feel for for what you're actually trying to do let me go ahead and hit one full speed uh, we'll try and slow this down a little bit so you can see kind of how long my heel does stay down for uh, it's probably not going to be on the floor at impact but it'll certainly be down for a, a decent amount of time in that dousing Okay, pretty happy with that shot. So hopefully you saw the, the sort of foot action that we're after there. Uh, if you can do that drill, hopefully you're gonna to work toward that foot action. And that's gonna be better for club delivery, contacts, all those kind of things. And you're hopefully gonna hit some better shots when you get out the course. Thanks for watching. Um, click the like button if you liked it. If you've got any comments, then also post those down in the box below. I'll do my best to respond to as many as I can. And if you haven't done already, then please click the subscribe button as well. That's gonna get you access to the videos. Uh, there's no fee for the videos. There's no charge for subscriptions. Absolutely free, so it's well worth doing. It'll just mean you get a notification. You get access to the videos. Uh, make sure you won't miss any. There's different videos going up each week, different content, different areas of the game, short game, long game, driving, irons, whatever it may be. Hopefully going to get you to play a little bit better golf when you get out there and just generally enjoy the game a little bit more. So as I say, thanks again for watching and we will see you again next time.